Welcome one and all to this 38th episode of D&D with Mike. And with Zoe. And today we are going to hopefully finish the game over screen. Now again, just like last time, I can't remember anything about anything, so we're going to have to look into our code again. <clears throat> Let's go... No, actually, I'll tell you what. Isn't there a cheat thing that we've done to win the match right away? Yes, yeah. debug end game, there it is. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, we had to rotate the cars. Yeah, They're well, all wonky. That's easy. At least I think it's easy. I can't remember. Get on. I'm not going to click on any of your wheels. I'm just going to pause, enable, and pause. Ooh, end. Oh, actually, I've playtested this with a few people, and I've noticed something. The sacks remain here. <laughs> yeah, which was really weird. You gotta destroy the sacks, I guess. Yes, you do. So, um, that's something we should look into. Like, basically, all of the objects on all of the tiles remain. So, I'm not sure how that works, in the sense that I don't remember... What happens when we go to the other screen? So we need to go take a look. This will be in the game manager for sure. Game manager. Do we have something like change state? I, I yeah, we do have a change game state. You do? Where? I don't remember where, but we have change it. Change turn sequence. Change game, change game state. state. There it is. Okay. We're going to game over. Set up game over. Okay. Wait, what does this do? Is that it? Ah, it hides the sc Eh? So wait a second, if it hides the screen, how do the sacks remain? Because the sacks are screen independent, is my guess. That's gotta be it. But that should also mean at this point, if we quit while we still have sacks, they should remain. Let's test this. So we're gonna say Give well. game manager. No, we're just going to do, like, deploy stash. Yeah, deploy stash will work. Uh, four players. Four players. Look? No, why? They don't look. They, look, they don't look the same as how they used to look. You don't? don't Maybe know. it's just the light. I think so. They have been a few changes with lighting. <laughs> oh, really? Well, at least you get two. So they remain, and the reason I think they remain is because they're right here. So they're not children of, of the, thing. the sea. So there's an easy way for us to deal with this, which is we simply make them into children. It would be very, very simple to do that. So whenever we instantiate them, uh, which should have its own method somewhere. Uh, I'm just reading through the methods. Or functions. Uh, overtake, change, turn, discard, tile, 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 blah, blah, blah. A point tile. That's the one. Deploy stash, deploy mine. And here, after we instantiate the thing, is what matters to us. So, add object, my... Okay, so tile, add object. Add object, so it should be directly on the tile, which makes it even easier. Nice. There it is. Instantiate, set up. 
Okay, and right here what you can do is you can do tile object. Oops. Ah. Tile dot. Uh, wait, okay. what is it? It's a tile object, so transform. Dot parent equals transform. So for semicolon. So for now, the parent of the object will be the tile itself, and therefore it's not going to be just randomly there. So we should be able to hit play. Just leave one sack lying about, and <clears throat> there. But I suspect we're going to have another problem. Let's see if I'm. Well, two cards and a roll again. I think. It seems like that will go put at least three sacks. Nope, nope. four. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna. One. We're gonna do the four cardinal points. Two. Well, semi cardinal, I guess. Okay, so I've done all of them. Now I'm gonna quit. They're not, not visible, but if I play again, they are still there. Oh dear. Right, that's what I expected. So when we start playing, let's go to the game manager and take a look at uh, start match or whatever. Quit so match. Quit match, blah, 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 set up turns, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up deck. Uh, Maybe just let start. Let me change here. So from title to gameplay, set up match. F12. There it is. Set up match. Destroy player, set up player, set up turns, etc. Um, we need to have every single tile be uh, cleared of its uh, child object. Now, I don't know if we set up a list of tiles anywhere. There it is. Start. No, these are the start tiles. These are the tiles, though. And they're set up in start and they don't change. Now, let's go take a look at our tile again. Uh, and here it is, but you see one thing it's not doing? It's not keeping track of it. We could actually keep track of it as well, which would be quite nice. So we're going to create a private. Yeah, and you're going to call it tile object. <coughs> Space tile object. Oh, I'm a fool. There it is. My bad. Sorry, save. Oh, wait, we have a public destroy tile object. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, so you see this destroy tile object? We're going to modify it just a little bit so it works all the time, and we're going to put it in setup uh, or in reset or something. So here you want to say if tile object is not null, good call, it's not null. Close, open, squiggly, and put the stuff in it. Yeah, not the last squiggly, that one will be bad if you take that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it in there. Save. Alright, so now we will destroy things only in that situation. Save. Now, when is this destroy thing called? So hit Control F. And let's. Ooh. Me bad. Evaluate landing tile. So it's just there. Yeah, it's just an evaluate landing tile. So what we need to do is we need to do it at start. Okay. In start match, we need to reset each tile. So set up destroy players, destroy set up players, set up turns, reset scores, set up deck. And here does something with the player scores. Okay. What we need to do still is we need to reset board. So we're going to create a new void right here. Void. Okay, reset board. Open close wrap. Open squiggly. Enter the close squiggly. Save. So the only thing that our board has that changes is in fact the stuff that's on the tiles, right? There's no other type of feature that our game has that changes the board, right? Board. Mm -hmm. Okay, therefore we can do four int i zero all the way until the length of the tiles. 
toils. That legs. I plush plush. Oh, your daddy's tired. And then you go tiles dot destroy something. Tiles I dot destroy. I don't remember what and destroy tile off. There it is. Open close rounds and come. Now why will this work? Because even if the tile does not have a tile object on it, it'll check if it does. And if it doesn't, it will not delete it. Okay. That's really it. So back to game manager. Now we need to call this one. So copy. Paste it here. Open close round. Semicolon. Save. Okay, this should work. So again, we're just gonna test test in this time very, very quickly. I'm literally simply going to deposit one and then quit right away. Or deposit two or three or four stuff like that happens. It's one. Um, I so. That's one. Got it. Um, Still got it. Still got it. Good. All right. So, <laughs> so we fixed bugs as opposed to actually getting stuff done. Now we can get stuff done though. Right, so uh, here's the only thing I would do. I would simply place the car on the podium so it's facing us or something. I think we should do that and also add a piece of text that says red has won. Or sure, something like that, that makes sense. Because it's not very clear that that person has won yet. Sounds good. So main camera overlays, game over. Bard, podium container, blah blah. Okay, so let's see if we can find some text mesh pros. This one, sure, just duplicate this one. Drag it here. Yeah. Red skip it yeah. And rename it to text underscore win. Okay, and we are going to. Maybe move it a little bit up further. Yeah, move it up a bit here. Let's do 7.5 and 5. And now just write red 1 space 1 space 1. Exclamation mark. Seems pretty good to me. Right now, let's see how it looks like really quickly. <clears throat> Pause. And the thing. Tick. Um, pause. Yeah, so there is that room. Works. There's kind of room. It's not great because hmm, I think I would probably prefer red one to be written down here and then just the X to close up here, right? So let's mm, do that. Let's do that. And maybe we could put red has a one. Sure. So duplicate the, the buttons. Yeah. Drag it in here, I guess. Rename this one to buttons. Actually, text win. We should probably just move it out. No, undo. Okay. Uh, now, this is just temporary text, so it doesn't matter. We just write has, sure. Just to see how it fits. Has one. Yeah. And now we said we wanted to put it further down, like here. This will be at 8, 3. Uh, I guess 3.5. Too much. Uh, how about 3.2? Okay, and now I'm gonna make the text a little smaller. So I'm gonna turn off auto save. Ah, I turn on auto save. Height. Yeah, this is gonna take me a day. Two. Thanks. And five. All right. Now make the height a little bit smaller. There we go. So 0 0.5. And let's see if we can go lower than minimum five. Let's say minimum three. Okay. Red has one. That's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's a lot Auto clearer. Container board buttons. There's the button. It's already there. It's already quit. It already does it. Let's see if this is going to work. Actually, the quit button. It should probably already work. Is my guess. I don't know. Uh, don't remember what controls things. So, pause. Game manager. Deep again. Game. Doesn't. And that is because our input manager, I guess, doesn't know about that. So, input manager, update, gameplay, button, raycast, ah, there it is. So that's fairly easy. 
um, copy this entire thing, paste it here. Now, if the mouse button, ray, 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 hit transform, dice, deck, no, we don't care about dice, we don't hit deck, no card, no player, no tile, yes, button. That's it. Save. So we're going to quit the match if we click that. <coughs> Let's test it. And then the only thing that remains to do is just correctly, correctly parse this text, right, give it some information. And... Uh, and, and then, then we're flip done the with players. The huh? And then flip the players. They're still rotated yeah, yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think we also should have a short wait between when you win and when you get to the podium. Maybe, maybe you a have sound? to click anywhere. Yeah, definitely a sound. Like burp, burp. still not working. No okay, fighter, I'm, maybe? I'm fairly sure. No, I think the quit match probably uh, does something different. Or something. Stop all routines, destroy players, change games to menu. No, it should work. Oh. Huh. I wonder what the game state is. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise, it's people upstairs. Uh, go debug log. This is gonna be overkill, but that's fine. You forgot the dot. Wow, whoopsies. Open round. Game manager dot script dot game state. Close the round, semi up save, and now uh, button. We're also going to uh, no, this too soon. Start to hit. Uh, let's do this. Save. All right. Next. Stop. Okay, so now this one's gonna give us a ton of like info. Probably even now, oh no, because it's deactivated. How oh, lovely. Well, let me collapse it and I'll also stop maximizing this because I don't care about anything here. Okay. Red is one. So I'm clicking. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think it's our lovely Dropbox. Paused. Go back here. Type because God's got <laughs> Save. Delete. delete. No, one less delete. Banana. Oops. Save. Yeah. I'll get okay. Right, when things are absolutely not happening, there we go. Splash. Okay, so the clicking on quit works. It's even giving us the information that we did click on quit. So I don't know what's going on, but something else going on. It's a bit weird. Stay. It's not Dropbox either. Well, Dropbox was contributing. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we hit quit. And for some reason, we're not going back to the menu. That's very strange. Quit match. Did we take the quit from the player that made it go back to, uh... What are you talking about? Wait, all the quits go back to menu, right? Yeah, that's what it does. Okay. It's right here. Stop all quit routines. But there's one that stops the whole game. Yeah, well, sure. We didn't take that one. The plus, that one somewhere else. It's The button's the same. So, game state, menu. The, well, mm, the only question, I guess, would be... Uh, if hit transform gameplay quit button oh oh well that explains it because it's not, that the, it's not the gameplay there. quit button <laughs> copy this it's a different button paste it and this one is game over quit button over save Oops. so that explains things a bit better there you can delete this, save. All right. Now we need to go and assign it. You just kept the gameplay one though. No, it's right here. Game over. No, 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 down there in the code, you put game. Yeah, play. a good point, we'll change that. All right, here we go. 
And now here, just go game over, click button. Save. Okay, now launch it, you try it, it should work. That's a big component, fixing this screen. Come on, there. Oopsies, I forgot to put the thing on, oh well. Yes, it works. Okay, quickly before you continue, try four players. Hit four players. Do the same. Hit debug end game. Ooh, thought so. These guys stayed? Mm, not sure what's going on I, it's, here. The text is wrong. Not sure what's going on here. But these columns, where are they? In the hierarchy. Hit F. They are here, podium container, model, model container, model. No, so it has destroyed the columns, so we get new columns, at least I think we do. The text is completely wrong. Yeah, undo. That's very strange, actually, that we're getting second, second, and eighth, and eighth, and then there's two of them. I'm very confused by this. So let's do it again, but immediately with four players. I think that... Um, I think that this problem is probably uh, related to two game overs in a row. That's what, yeah, I thought so. So now I'm going to go four again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So some lists don't get cleared. That's the only possibility that I see. <laughs> Question is which lists? It's also very interesting to see that the cards are actually placed correctly. What Okay, not so much anymore. Oi, missing reference exception. Oh, but this is going to help us. This podium container, I local scale, new vector setup game over. Podium column size. Podium columns. But these are added on the fly. What in the world's going on? Reset game over. That one should work. Destroy all of the columns, clear the columns, then do your thing. Podium columns I. Oh, is the player count not being updated correctly? But it should be. I genuinely don't know what's going on. This surprises me. So, let's see. Your script, I, sure, I know. Um, you more measure 43, give manager 330. Excuse me. Oh boy. Am I gonna sneeze? Am I? Am I? No, I'm not. I'm tricking you all. One more time with Gusto. I think that we're gonna get this crash every time we... Uh, every time we go from more, from more players to less. That's my guess. Uh, no, I'm wrong. Three. Three does it. <laughs> so, are you telling me the three never worked? <laughs> it's possible. And it works. Try it it's three times, I think. Three is broken. The third time. Yeah. So, we have <laughs> whatever strange bug we're getting here. Okay, so I'm not sure. How do I even start debugging this? Well, let me see. Uh, actually, no, let me go back to the game over manager and see what's going on. So here, reset. Okay, so this destroys all the columns. That should be safe. Then that's the placement of the columns, and these are these seem to be all correct. Uh, well, it's the start X, so it's obviously correct. Then we go through all of the players. We add a column for each player. Let's see if that at least works. So if we got three columns. But no, I don't think so because it does it per goal. So we have two forward, close, two forward, close, two bad, bad. Why would it do it on the third time? What is going on? So 
Podium model containers, model container, that, that, that can't matter. Where is the error? Here. Model containers, I, local scale. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. Podium model containers. Model container. Game over manager. Podium container. Podium add list find model container model container depends on the column so each column should have a model container there it is and apparently it cannot find the model container okay so here's what we're gonna do first we are going to Sorted ordinals, copy this, paste it here. Uh, before undo, undo, I'll go debug.log, open round, paste.count, or dot x count, because it's cooler. Close the round, semicolon, save. So let's see how many we get. We should get four, or however many players we've got. And then we should get the same. So I'm gonna go with two just because it's a smaller number. Two. 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 It's all correct. So that's not relevant. Game manager skip player count. Podium column size delta. There's our local scale. Sorry guys, I'm thinking. I don't actually know. Uh, I don't see anything that jumps at me that goes like, aha, we've been stupid here. <laughs> I don't see an obvious one. But, wait a second. So, aha, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I got it. So here we have four lists. Okay? okay. We're only clearing one. So my bet is that is these that lists are not getting cleared. Too? So they still contain the objects that have been cleared. Uh, rather, they have been destroyed but not cleared. So let's copy this list. Paste it here. Dot clear. Open close. Copy this. I don't know, my bad, it's the same. Copy this. Paste it here. Open, uh, dot clear, open close. And the last one, podium captions. Because these are all children of the podium columns and apparently I was silly and I didn't I didn't think it through. Dot clear. There's the thing that jumps at you now. Yeah, there we go. And I'm fairly sure this fixes it. Let's see if the three times bug doesn't happen. <clears throat> well, it was a two times bug already. You notice that it gave us eight yeah, and yeah, eight. Yeah, 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 did that. So first time it works. One and two. Second time it works. Third time it works still. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, it works. We it are was good. the clearing of the list. Save. Okay, now. Now. Rotating the players and putting that text. Yes, so blah, 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 list players, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're placing in there. We're, this is the rotation. Um, so I think that the rotation just needs an extra nudge. Now let's figure out which direction. This is going to be fairly easy. We're just going to put it as an exception. Just, you know, just sort of like add this rotation. See ya. Okay. So here are the players. Uh, I love it when Unity zooms out a million miles. I don't really know what it depends on, but it does it with complex objects. Uh, okay, hit E to to rotate. Oh, did I press E? There, now I press T. Oh, that's actually going to be fairly interesting. Uh, 
because for some reason it's the pivot is weird. Anyway, undo. Hey. So undo again. <laughs> I know what's happening. So are we rotating the model then? No, undo. They're not rotating the model, we're rotating the player. For some reason it's behaving very strangely. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay, so you see what I've done here? What's this the difference? This time it is rotated wrong too. That I'm not sure I understand. I mean, it's moved around. Control Z. Yeah, the, the siren is. Oh, I think that the siren made undo again. Now, watch here. I'm taking the x axis. I'm going up. By how much? Well, you just had 45, right? No, Minus I negative 45. 45 yeah. So you went up by. You went up by 45 plus 45, which is. 90. So let's begin with that. And by the way, that way uh, that's stupid because that only rotates it on uh, that only rotates it on one axis, and we need to actually have the car face forward, not backward. So 90 on the X, and then 90. Yeah. Now bear in mind that quaternions like to be a bit special sometimes. So 90. Okay. You so went I, in the floor. Eh? Ah, oh, because I'm silly. For uh, okay, and this one is facing back. So, okay, this is going to behave all sorts of weird. So I'm, that's why I wanted you to bring up this interface because it's usually a little bit easier to manage. Okay, so same rotation by 180 on the Y. Zero and minus 45. So 180 on the Y, it gets us there. It's, Did you realize that it went farther back? Yes, the just... I wouldn't worry about it because it's also moved it here, right? Yeah. It's not a child object, so that's why it does this. Uh, so simply add 180 on the Y. Okay. So what we're going to do here? Add 180 on the Y and 90 on the X. No, we don't need that anymore because the X has been eaten by that. Oh, I'm doing it in the wrong place. So here you go. Plus uh, quaternion the Euler. The Euler. Open round. New vector, yeah, actually, no, let's cheat. Vector 3 dot up, dot up, which is 1 on the y, times 180. Okie dokie, times 180. That's 280. Float. Close. Save. Not too sad. Wait, wait, would you not like? Now, of course, quaternions cannot be summed. Uh, okay. Um, cut this. Paste it here. Dot. Euler angles. Shift tab right away. Save. Vectors can be summed though. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, this may not work. It should, but it may not. Because the turnings are special. And our architecture is terrible. <laughs> so. Mark. Yay! They're facing the right way. Sirens. Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit confused by that. I think that what's going on what's going on with that is that there's a script on the siren that makes it point down. <laughs> so we're simply gonna turn off the siren. We're gonna Oop. use the cheap way. We're gonna turn off copper or whatever. So that's easy. Um and we also need to make the car bigger, right? What? <laughs> Thirty car. Uh, it's zero, too big. Zero point five should be okay. That's better. Yeah, that seems fine. It's so, much bigger than the others. It's funny where it is. It decided is. But I'm fairly sure if you rotate the car weirdly, the siren will... Yeah, see, the siren <laughs> keeps staying straight. Aww. It doesn't doesn't care where you're at. Because that's how we programmed it to be. Um, right. So, let's start with the scale. Now, for that, we definitely need a variable. So, create serialized field, private float. Float. 
and call this one M game car scale equals 0 0.5. F. How many times must you make this? Okay. Mistake. Yes. Copy all of this. Paste it here. Change this to local scale. Vector 3.1 times end game car scale. Semicolon. <clears throat> okay, look. So that should do. Uh, do we want to give them a bit of a random rotation on the y axis just to make it cooler? Nah, it's such a pain. No. Uh, no. no. All right, so let's take a look at the player here. And do that text. No, it's not the text for now. Uh, it's the siren. Mm -hmm. So I don't. don't we have a it's probably in late update. Do we have a script? Yeah, player siren. Have. There it is. Player Siren. Interesting. Does the player have a reference to that Siren? Player Siren, PS. He does, but it's private. Uh, hit Control F. PS transfer file, blah, blah, blah. PS setup. PS is active, turn off. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, If score, let's change score. Yes. So all we need to do is do this, uh, rather this, at the end of game over. So I don't know that we have anything for game over here. So we're just gonna create another public void real quick right here. Let's do it here. Go public void. Go to game over. Controls around. Save. Copy this. Paste it. Save. Okay. So each player needs to go to game over. We can do it straight from game game over uh, manager right here. And we're gonna say uh, all of this. Copy. Paste it. Go to game over. Open goes around. Okay, so that's that. Um, the siren will be off. Now, the text. So we need a reference to that text. Uh, I bet you this guy isn't using... Oh, yes it is. Oh, yes it is. Because of that, it has to be used. It takes for sure because of the list there. Yeah, so go serialize field. Private. Text mesh pro. No, no, no. That's a that's the 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 library. Oh, Text yes, mesh right. pro. So like this. Yeah. Uh, and call it. Uh, text underscore. Winner. Yeah. Simple. Say. Now you see this, all we need to do is take the zero. So we're gonna take this entire thing and it should have like colors and everything. So copy all of this. And here we're gonna say, no, don't paste it yet. Uh, say text underscore winner. Underscore winner. Yeah, the, the first one, no, one up, one up. Tab, dot set text, open round. Now okay. paste. Wait, I'm thinking. So we needed the color of the player. Now wait a moment. I'm super lazy, so I'm not gonna. It's do player that. colors. No, no, I I know <laughs> that, but we've already done it before at least once. So many know. times after look, once. Look, hit Control F, set text, open bracket. Even if it's wrong, gap, that's fine. Open bracket. That's it. Yes, yes, one. yes, this is the one. Copy all of this. 
Super lazy daddy, paste it, save. Okay, so player color, color hexes, this needs to be in game manager. So let's copy this, paste it here, save. Okay, now let's turn sequence. We don't actually care about that. We need game over sorted IDs, active player, all of this, copy all of this, paste it here, and go dot color ID, car ID, I don't know. Uh, it almost certainly will be wrong, but that's fine. Uh, put a zero here. Yeah, save. So this is the first player, but where are he, where is his color? Oh, right, we could actually use the list turn sequence. Wow, this is gonna be complex. That's fine, copy all of this. And paste it before you do, just let me think for a moment. Here, hit space. Now type game manager again. Dot script. We're really gonna have to space the slide a lot. Dot paste and close this. Save. Okay, so I've got a better idea. This is really annoying, right? This this enormous thing. So we're gonna ask this text to receive it from the game manager. Okay? Because this is ridiculous. The game manager contains most of that stuff. We should be doing that here. So, calculations, score, sure, gate score tests, texts, public string, yeah, uh, get win text, open round, if you did an int id, pid, pid for player id, ID, close round, open, and then say close, save. Okay, so this text that we had looked at before, oh, did I minimize it? Yes, I did. Thanks. Copy all of this. I missed the T, so you need to put a T first. T, paste. Oh, actually, that's silly. Change this to return. Space and remove this bracket. Okay, now here we're gonna say has one. Save. <coughs> now let's turn sequence. This is wrong. You want to copy PID, paste it here, paste it here. Save. And now back to our game man over. But space. Here. Save. That wouldn't cause anything extra. It's I would still have to save though. Yeah no, it looks ugly, so it's good that you clear that. Alright, so let's remove all of this. Now you want to go to game manager dot script dot get whatever I called it. <laughs> get win text I think. There it is. Go get. Get win text, open round. And now we need to feed it the ID. And the ID is going to be this thing. Copy. Paste it here, and here you want to change this with a zero. Close round, save. Now, I think this is gonna work unless it goes absolutely backwards, but I don't think so. Save. So it should give us the red winner. And the correct rotation of those guys. Now, Game manager. Right. Red winner. Red has won, no reference. Object not set to an instance of an object. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly! <laughs> yeah, we forgot to sign it. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time. <laughs> we forget to do that. Um, text win. Splat. There. Come on, technically speaking, there is one bug in the game that's left, and then this game is officially done because I don't want to work on it anymore. Do you agree with this? Mm -hmm. Red has one. Perfecto. That is correcta mundo. Yeah, and so is the size, and so is the rotation, and so, so is are the, the silly cars facing us. Look at them. <laughs> Such a menacing sight. 
Maximize. Okay. Especially that one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So in order to get a decent screenshot for this, we're going to just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your daddy is foolish. Um, what was I gonna do? Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. The whole discarding really doesn't work with new players, by the way. Really so like, huh? Oh, restart. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I gave him 10 points. Well, <laughs> give him, you put him on 4 anyway. <laughs> At least he gave him 10 points. Maybe <laughs> 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 yes, you want, you want to go call mommy to play? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a moment. First up. Okay, so everybody's oh, ready to win or lose. So I'm going to pause here and I hit debug end game. Boom. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. I forgot to disable uh -oh. that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we forgot to quit that text. That's all right. So player, go to game over. There it is. So all we're gonna do is, uh, I think those captions are updated in the game manager by update score texts. Is this the one? No. This is the the thing. So it doesn't matter. Set text temp. This doesn't matter. Where are the captions on top of the player? Come on, the player must have them, right? Text much about TM race position. There it is. So hit Control F. TM race position. TM race position. Set the update race position. In pause. Uh, race position equals pause. If you're in there. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, hit comma. Cool. And type visible. Visible equals true. So by default, visible is always going to be true. But here we're going to say if open round visible, close round opens quickly. Don't close quickly yet. I didn't. Yeah, I did. Save. Okay, else, open, close, save, copy, paste, quote, quote, close, and ta-da! <laughs> that works. That's how we will fix it. And now let's see if it works. Yeah, we need to test it properly again, but as we did it, right? So just do at least a turn so everybody has a different score. And hope Actually, that let's try and have two people have the same score and be last. Test because I don't think we've seen that it's an hour before. So it's going to choose more than others. To review. Okay, this will already work. So I'm going to hit debug end game. Yes, so we have two, three, third place. Do you see this guy still has first? Oh dear. I'm not sure. You got to shut that guy up too. Dot game object, change that game object. Dot set active open round false flaz <laughs> flaze <laughs> false close round close round I did slow poke slow poke load oh. mate oh. load 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 do it again I love doing things again I players oh, oops good thing that had the quit button was there yeah. good thing you could it good thing it's a very good thing indeed Joker wants you pause cause Joker is evil there do it dude what's up
with you. Oh, of course, what's up with us? Then? He doesn't do a couple times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your dad is like slow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all good and well if you make this change in the function, but if you never call it, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, here, go update race position. Open round. Race position. Comma. False. Close round. This time right correctly. The first time. <sighs> Flays. Flaz. <laughs> Flaz. Flaz. Wait, wait, what happened there? I felt like I clicked like twice. Yeah, what are we <laughs> yeah, games of bugs live with it. <laughs> okay, draw card. Draw card. <laughs> the end game. Okay, wait, is, is, uh, is, what is, ah, uh, is it Jobbox? No, it, this in fact should be what I expect it to be. I think that update race position is being called twice. So go debug.log, open round, car ID, close the semicolon, yes. So I bet you that this one is called multiple times after. And I think that the game manager is calling it or something. Uh, I feel we already have had a few, few updates. Okay, so that's what we usually do. Clear this for now. Okay, now they're all gone. But it has been called for time, uh, one time for each player, which is accurate. Oh. It's hard to know, but I think it's going to work fine. So I'm a little bit bothered by this blue has won and by everything in general because it's too f in the center compared to the rest. So, podium container, hit W. Mm -hmm. Undo. Here is where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it at minus three seven point. How will we fit the eight players and stuff? Oh right. No, we will fit them. They'll fit. Oh, we never did the whole eight players. Yeah, it's fairly easy to do. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we can do it next time. I'm tired. So yeah, I want to it move. is almost done too. The hour. I want to move the board a little bit so here. That will be fine because I want to move that text uh, further up. It bothers me that it's down there. Oh, I think it's inside the camera now. Yeah, there. So now it's better spaced. All of this. So if we put the text over here, and where is this? Four point five, five point five. Nope, five point three. No, 5.4. No. <laughs> 5.3. 5. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to try and remember where the board is, which is at minus 3, 8. Minus 3, 8. Minus, minus 3, three eight. 8. 8. And the, pod, the text in is paste component values. Okay. So give it a save. Give it a save. There we go. And I think... I think that thing has been fixed, but it makes no sense. Uh, it could be another Dropbox thingy. But the Dropbox is paused. Yes, I know, but you know. It does do weird things. still there it's not fixed uh, and my guess is that this last one for example so let's see player three is yellow 
right? And this one is called by game manager update race positions at game manager. Whereas this three over here is the one that's called by game over. Yeah, I thought so. It's called twice. So I'm gonna go with the other solution that I went with before, which is dot game object dot set active equals false. No equals my bad round bracket false. You knew, didn't you? You knew, but you made me made me do a flaze move. <laughs> <laughs> the flays move. What are you saying? The flays move. Flays. It's uh, the word of the deck, flays. I wonder if it's actually a <laughs> What's up with the yellow getting all the Joker related things? And he just keeps sliding on the boot. Steal a thousand from the Joker's got the most. Bleh. <laughs> He's gonna overtake him. Go, oh, Monsieur Bleh. Ooh, that's like overtaken. <laughs> well, that didn't go so good. Uh, but he's got a skip, so that's gonna be pretty good to figure it out. It's gone. Ta -da! Thanks very much. Yellow has won? Oh, I told you. Yellow has won? Yellow has won? Yeah, it's going yes. backwards, it's going the other direction. <laughs> so. Hmm. Alright, in that case, surely, uh, instead of this, you want to do copy all of this. Paste it, add an S because I forgot it. Dot count or dot out because it's not going to minus one. Save. Out is a flaze move. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure it's reliable, but I'm, I'm incredibly tired, so I'm incredibly lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Barely working here. Barely working! Because he works on that numbers game all day. I worked on everything all day. That's why you're kidding. Like four days in a row. I don't know how much, how much sleep I've got. Not very much. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, why are you going again? I'm bored. Stop it. Stop moving. <laughs> push yeah. yourself because he's the only one he can push, boss. So that did go so well. He has. He ended up with less than what he started. That's what he deserves. And now he's getting overtaken. Oh no, he's not. That's a good example, though. So hit that. Yellow has yellow. one of these three. Yellow has one again. Just the yellow keeps winning. Oh, is the, the, the Dropbox three. being difficult again? <laughs> Say. <Safe. laughs> Man, this is annoying. Oh. Save. I mean, because yellow wasn't last this time, so there's no pattern. Uh, wait, I, th I don't know if I'm being stupid or what. Save. So let me think for a minute and I'll stop being lazy now. So uh, get win text, uh, script list, give us sorted list IDs, sorted list IDs dot count. I am fairly sure we are placing these left to right, which must mean that the first one is the correct one. So the problem isn't here, it's somewhere else. Save. So this should be the correct ID. So here you're gonna type debug.log dot log open round and you're gonna give me this. Copy, paste it, close it, semicolon. So I wanna see zero as soon as I click as soon as I click the whole restart thingy. I mean end game. Zero. That's exactly what I expected. And it said blue has won. Right. Which was last. Blue right. was last. So <clears throat> now we're sending the correct ID. 
now that the player is getting the correct ID player color hexes this turn sequence ID wait I don't think we need this at all just PID PID again I forgot the square bracket save okay so now let's pay attention to who was first in the turn well because that could have been it yellow yeah. is first so it may be yeah I seem to recall that yellow is first at the time too so it might be that and now we will remove that it could be okay red has one perfect okay red has one yeah, that's accurate. Yellow was in the front, though. That doesn't matter. Our 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 um, debug always makes red win. Oh. Yeah. Let's change that debug just a little bit to test it properly because I don't trust it. So we need to find it first. Where are you? Here, hit Control F. Okay. Change this to int. Uh, ID. Save. Now it's gonna whine a bit. That's all right. If debug endgame ID higher than minus one. Minus one. ID. 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 Copy. ID. Paste. 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 Save. Now we can actually select who, who wins or who loses. Be better to make an enum for it, but whatever. Uh, so, oh, 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 big problemo. Oh, save. Save. Oh, I offered that. What are you doing? <laughs> save. Bad things. Okay, so game ID now that's gonna win, it's gonna be green. Ready? Oops. Oh, it doesn't like it because I think I broke it by, by, by doing things, so I'm gonna have to pause it. Because it was negative. Pause. Uh, okay, too, <laughs> slightly too early. Pause. To unpause. Are you gonna have a range? Parameter name index out of range. Okay, 457. What have I broken? Come on, man, I want to go. Uh, 467. 60? 67. 57. That's 57. the one. Then that guy. Debug and game ID. Yeah. Change score to the target score and test. Let's change score to the target score. Why? Test and game, maybe? Why do you not like it? Maybe it's test and game doing weird things with it that are so related to bull. It's possible. But no, because you would get the error later. No, that's correct. I don't get it. Oh, idiot. Cut this. Here. Yeah, the reason is we changed it before we used it. Save. Now it will work. We should probably have kept that bull because now it's a bit uncomfortable to do. But it's fine. It'll be alright. Um, I just need to remember to not hit backspace while I'm here. But I need to press 2 right away. There we go. Green has 1. Green was 2. Close. Play 4. Now we're going to go with 3. This should be yellow. Yes. And yellow is first, and yellow has one. Okay. Now we're gonna go with one. This should be blue. Blue has one. Blue has one. Perfect. Works all right. And yeah. how does this solve the bug, though? Which bug? Red. Yes. What? What? The what bug? bug of of the saying the wrong thing. Of this saying the wrong thing. But it's not saying the wrong thing. It's saying the right thing. Yes, but only due to that. 
No, but that is just an example. Uh, we're basically uh, setting the winner as one of the IDs, whichever one it is. And if I press zero, it should be red, and it was. If I press three, it should be yellow, and it was. So if in normal game, the yellow player whose ID is three crosses the line and with 5,000, the yellow player will win uh, right away and end up in the podium as the first player because it will send the ID three. Here, I'm just sending the IDs right away. Don't you okay. see what I'm doing here? I'm just uh, taking the player with the but idea I that I... this is the debug. Yeah, sure, but it does the same things as the rest. We just will not allow players to use it, right? But the point is list players, debug end game ID, dot change score. So we change the score to the target score. We give 5,000 points right away to a player. Just like that, okay? And here we then test the play for that player test the end game and now that player obviously has the 5,000 so mm -hmm. the game thinks that that player has crossed the line and won and then it goes like okay awesome and because of that all of the things will be set in motion and uh, the game will end with that player winning so it's working and I'm now confident that the text is correct good all right <clears throat> so save okay and uh oh right I want to take a screeny do it now, do it live, because it's fascinating for people to see when you do, like, boring things. <laughs> don't do, do things, I don't care, bye. <laughs> yeah, so, player three is going to win. Are you ready? Boop. Yay! Yay! Hooray for player three! Yay! Wow, wow, wow. Really okay, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again next time. If there is a next time, but I think there may be just so we add the support for more players and then this game is going to be over and I'm going to be very happy. All right. Thanks very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye. Bye.